came up with resistance. Mm. And, um, yeah, it's resistance all of a sudden to the spiritual path, and it's weird. Yeah. So the moment anything like resistance, I don't want to, you're here, you're here regardless, I know it's your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, so the moment we allow it, whatever's got hold of us, that's got its claws in, the moment we really allow it. it mightn't even be your resistance. Yeah. So we can take things personally, but it could be our ancestors because we know that we're right on board with our spiritual essence. Yeah. And it might be just trickling through from the ancestors, it might be part of the collective. Yeah. We know when we gather here together, it's like a pulse and it pulses all around humanity. Yeah. It's just a, an energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's great to see how you're taking it personally and then just let it go, just allow it, surrender. And the emotion that comes up, see it only breaks the ordinary heart and the ordinary heart's on the chopping block. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we can go kicking and screaming. We can, you know, we can even think we can give it up, mm. you know. We could go back to when we were children and did we think we were going to have lives like now? Really, spiritual teaching devoted to spiritual essence. Did we really think we were going to do that? Or our lives look the way they are, quite unpredictable, changeable? Mm. So if we slow it down, whenever anything rises up, we have the opportunity just to slow it down. How we can slow it down is with our breath. Being aware of, you know, we can also start to vacate to where it's comfortable. Be aware of the soles of your feet, the crust of the body, and it's kind of anchoring you in so that you're not going to vacate <laughs> as we have a look. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. See, the sacred heart is never touched. It can never be broken. It's just a continual essence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the pull and the push as well. As I noticed, this tremendous love for you and for everything, and everything. And then the monkey mind comes in and just corrupts him. Yeah. And then back and forth and back and forth. Yeah. Hmm. And it's really good. Don't see it as a bad thing that's coming up. See, so welcome it and love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You that's know, a knowing, but I'm, I'm not really. You've got to embody yeah. it. And it's how? Such an automatic to go like, oh, it's not right. It has to be different. Yeah. Trying to change it, trying to manage it, and it's just an energy. Mm. It's an energy that wants to come out of your system one way or the other, transcend through the ancestral line. Because mm. recently we were talking about some of your family members resisting. <laughs> and you know, the moment we mentioned something about our family members doing something, 
I'd invite you for the next three days to have a look where you're going. Mm -hmm. And does any of that creep in before you realise? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So if you simply allow it. Then your presence comes back in. Mm. And then whatever was trying to grab hold has nothing to grab hold of. And then you just feel breaking free. Yeah, yeah. First point of call, always come back. Because trying to work out something emotionally in the duality, even if the lighter aspect of duality is really a nice polished mm. essence, good feeling, it's still in duality and it can change at any moment. Yeah. And if we constantly exercise our natural innate capacity to come from mind back into awareness, because awareness is always there, and we just breathe into it, surrender into it, we get space. And if we're con consciously exercising that movement throughout the day, doing whatever you're doing, you will find you'll have windows of awareness that you'll be delightfully surprised. And you'll have then start to, the windows will just get bigger and bigger. Mm. And then you'll, be, you'll drop deeper into awareness. And then there'll be kind of like a, a bit of a snowball that normally happens. Profound insight in the most simplest things. Mm. And then you're in the ocean and you're anchored in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like what, we, what I talked to you about the other day that with the silence, like the, like the no mind. But I'm um, not quite sure how to say it, but um, I have these really long periods of just having silence. But then it just feels like there's so much more to beyond that or something. And it's, it's not the end of it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like I'm. Stuck is not the good word, but like I have no idea what's behind it, and I just want to look over the fence or something. <laughs> yeah, and looking over the fence is actually surrendering. Yeah. You, you can look over the fence and come back into duality. Yeah, yeah? go the other way, just surrender. Mm -hmm. So that's where ritual and ceremony integrated into everyday life has its real place. When you're right on that edge from going from the higher end of duality into that silence. And there's this sort of swinging. Mm. And sometimes you're not realizing that you're actually in the higher end of duality mm. and you think you're in the silence. Mm. But the natural yearning for more mm. is your, your, your sign that you're not home. Because yeah. home is so full and empty there is nothing missing, yeah. yeah? And in that, you know there's a natural progression of what, of what I call is like once again, you go deeper into the ocean. Yeah. Once again, the incredible spaciousness gets more space, yeah. even when you felt that it could not even occur. Yeah. There's an always, always deepening. Mm? So bringing in ritual and ceremony in, in everyday life, sitting, whether it's five minutes every morning or 40 minutes even every morning, sitting with not as being the meditator, just sitting in awareness and whatever comes up on the screen, yeah? And if you do that of a morning, it's sort of like, you know, it's quite profound because it's timeless, we will go in through time of whatever we're going to meet through the day energetically. And there in the morning, we will feel that energy. So we're transcending that, yeah, whatever's going to take us out. So then when we walk through the day, we've already met it and it's like cleared this path. 
Yeah, and we can be really present to things that we really knew that normally we would not be present to. Yeah? Then re when resistance comes up, then we can see it for what it really is. Oh, look at that. We can even allow ourselves to go headfirst into it and smell it and don't be frightened of what comes up. Yeah? It's in you, it's coming up, it's an energy. You know, meet it. Meet it with your essence and your, your divine strength. And the mind is just, you know, a, like a little feather compared, you know, it's so nothing. Yet, you know, our society makes it being so something big and, you know, that it's difficult to transcend it or quieten it. Remember, we can always stop, you know. The beauty is to really get, we can stop talking to ourselves internally, just like that. And it's an energy that's coming up for it to be in dialogue. Mm -hmm. And if we stop it, then just feel the energy. Let the yawns come because it's letting go, yeah. Often it's, it's either changing centres. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So when we stop and we make a, take a steadfast stand in what's happening, and we stop the mind, yeah. it's very important straight away when we stop it, we take responsibility to feel then the energy. Mm. It's not emotion, it's feel. Feel is a pure essence, mm. energetic. It's just feel it. How we as humans experience the pure energy is vibration, sensation, feeling, knowing. Mm. We all know when it's, we're in that absolute knowing. Yeah? And you know when that's coming up, that's not absolute knowing, it's just knowing, it's just the mind. Mm. And it's the monkey. And you can go, hello monkey, you know, hi, you know, don't be so serious with it. It's like, you've got to be kidding. You're trying this. Like I, you know, the monkey mind, you know, I can lay there and go, you know, knowing I'm going to get up. And I can, you know, still give myself very good reasons why to stay in bed. The others will get up. It'd be really good if I'm not there for a change. You know, like it's like, oh, you've got to be kidding. You know, where does that come from? Well, so what? But it's really, it can be really funny, you know. Yeah. I have resistance to travelling overseas. I just would like to hang about on the coast and with my beloveds and, mm. you know, and I do it anyway. Mm. You know, I can even resist, oh, can't I go next year, you know, <laughs> and, and I can hear myself and it's funny. Yeah. We learn not to take the mind so seriously. Mm. Mm. And when we're in a not knowing situation, I invite you just to go inside deeper. There's another question. Yeah. Like I can take my own mind not so serious, but I have a really hard time with taking others' minds not so serious. For instance, talking to my mom or whoever has an opinion mm. about something. I take their mind far more serious than my own. And mm. I can just hear myself talking with them or something. And doesn't resonate with any of what my essence or whatever is mm. all about. But then I just go with that flow. Mm. It's because, especially when it's family, we have a conditioned response. Yeah. We have a pattern of how, what sort of essence level we're coming into. Yeah. So if we're meeting, used to meeting someone very of the mind, mm -hmm and then suddenly we go into deep spiritual essence, awakening, then we come back to that person, you know, and if we're still settling in that, it's not really anchored and reinforced, then we tend to sort of start creeping out. Yeah. And this is a really good point, because so you can prepare yourself mm -hmm. before you go and connect with them, sit. Yeah. And it's like that sitting of a morning just just sit 
anchor in just into the awareness knowing with the intent I'm going to connect with this family member mm. and just feel whatever is coming up yeah. yeah and then make the phone call or go see them yeah. and you'll find you can hold the space mm. Mm. and even then if you still find you start see normally we can hold it for 85 yeah. percent and this is great once you get this one, this is really good. It's the 15% that you've got to be really careful of. It's like someone's really pressing your buttons and you know you've got to be very elegant with it and you can be very nice and it's the last 15%. <laughs> yep. And in that, and you can feel the energy shift and then you can even internally say, what do you want? What do you really want here? Do you want divine grace? This is the testing energy that will come up, yeah. holding that space. Mm. Yeah? Yeah, because they can up all my buttons. <laughs> yeah. So sit there and feel them pressing every button. Yeah? yeah? <laughs> all of them? All of them. Don't leave one unturned. And if you're sitting there and do that and you meet them and it doesn't have a hold on you, yeah. like in the beginning, that awareness comes in yeah. and then it can't hold on. You, what you'll also meet, if they're very strong family members, they have nothing to lose. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to. And they're your beloved testing sounding board. They will try one way or another. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And you know that. Yeah. There's common sense in spirituality. Mm. Yeah. You know that they're going to press your buttons. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's this family thing of being, a, a, like being rebellious or going against whatever comes. Yeah. So it's also this bond we have with the three of us, technically, we against the world. Yeah. And we against whoever comes, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's the whole dynamic of being together. Yeah. It's, it's an old pattern that you recognize. Pattern, yeah. yeah. It's really, really mm. But it's a really strong one, so as soon as I enter, I can just feel it coming. Like, mm. oh, here we go again. Mm. It's something sort of like about the collective and all our ancestors, we all have it from our family. Mm. And it's the old patterning handed down of the family. And now we're in a beautiful time, we see <laughs> the releasing, we start to see these patternings and we have the opportunity to be steadfast yeah. and transcend these patternings. Yeah. Mm? Mm. And with you all here, you know, I'll be very surprised if it isn't you in your family line holding this space to transcend whatever's being acted out in your family. Mm -hmm. And it can be good, not so good, yeah. you know, yeah. just is, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, it can be emotionally comfortable, it can be, you know, it can even be really sweet, mm. it can be sweet as honey, yet there's a glitch, mm -hmm. you know, not, you know, staying in the higher aspect of duality and not going all the way home. Yeah. Then you're looking at sort of, there's this, you know, higher end ego that is not willing to let go of itself totally yeah yeah that's what I'm mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah everything has to be burnt <laughs> and I guarantee you you know when you get through the fire it's better than what you could ever 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 imagine and it's amazing what the mind or the emotions or you think you're going to lose sight of mm. everything. But you just see, feel, taste, experience mm. in true freedom. Mm. Mm. So just allow that feeling. Yeah. And you, we watch, you know, if that keeps you comfortable, twiddling. Yeah, it's just a distraction. 
Yeah, but it's okay. You know, we can do this. We can resource and and we can distract, because what what's happening as we're talking? You're just coming more and more in, mm. and sometimes our central nervous system is sort of doing this. Mm. This you can feel it, and a little bit of distraction and talking around just helps to settle it. You go too fast and you'll bounce off. Yeah? So when you see you're getting pulled out, you know, go back to the tools, sitting every morning, basking in awareness, seeing what's going to come. Yeah? Open eyes. Might be busy some days and not so busy. Hmm? Unpredictable. Fresh. Always fresh. Hmm? You know, you, um, in dojos, they, they put on their armour, they put on their s sacred gear. So when we go around family members or a manager or a boss, you know, somewhere that, you know, is confronting, mm. dress in a sacred manner, bathe, yeah? Shower that you wash it all the way, mm. all the times you've met them before. So how do you dress in a sacred manner? You can put on whites. Uh -huh. Whites are good. <laughs> I'm quite partial to whites. <laughs> and it seems regardless of what I think about it, because I do actually like colour. Can't get out the door in colour, but, I, you know. Mm. Yeah, sometimes I can. <laughs> mm. you know. Be kind, loving and kind. Wear your favourite clothes. Yeah, something that gives you comfort. Yeah. See the person like the first time you've seen them. Because mm -hmm. family members, we can put them in a box. They're always going to be like this. Yeah. But if we go with fresh eyes, we can be really surprised. Yeah. yeah? Because remember, their presence can will meet your presence. And, you know, as scary it might seem, we can bypass mind and meet. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Easy. easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's far more easy. <laughs> it's far more easy. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Sometimes there's a line in the sand. I choose not to relate like this anymore. You know, I remember driving in the car with my mother and, you know, my father was the sounding board for her when he passed mm -hmm. and she was living by herself. You know, she would just get wound up and wound up mm -hmm. and, and I was driving and, you know, she'd start something and I'd say, no, nope, no, nope, stop, I don't want to hear that. Yeah. Nope, don't. And then it got that every time she opened her mouth I was stop, stop. I said, Mum, think of something really beautiful, really positive. And she stopped and she went, I don't know how to do that. And my heart just, ah. Oh. And I went, your favourite rose in your garden. And she just went, oh, and her whole face, because she grows these magnificent roses. And I went, see, you do know how to do it. And it was just reminding her of this reference to something that she really loved. Mm. And then she just went on talking really positive and loving and she just remembered. Yeah. yeah? So we just support each other to remember. Yeah. Hmm? Stuff. Yeah. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can just feel it bubbling and just, you know, widening up. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is just an automatic. Yeah. My hand just goes <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a major conception channel, and here is sort of a, it's a pericardium point, which is a heart protector. Mm. Mm. You can say that the pericardium's like the ordinary heart. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So I'm just giving it a massage. Yeah, 
And you know, the heart channel runs down here and putting our hand on our heart. And when you're in strife around somebody, put your hand on your heart, you know. Remember the tools. Outline the tools before you go there. Ask yourself, the moment before I need it, may I put my hand on my heart? And it'll come automatically, mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. How's your resistance? <laughs> <laughs> just lingering in the back a bit. Mm. Still, but yeah, now just, just, just smell it. Love it. Mm. Welcome it to come up. See, if we leave a little bit, it's enough to grow again. Mm. And we can blink and it's grown really big and it's sort of like, oh. But we have the capacity to totally transcend it. Mm -hmm. And I, I really invite you to, don't be satisfied with 1% or 0 0.5, take it all the way. And it's like that 15% can really be the trickster. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And you know, oh, I don't have time to do it and all this. It can be done in the instant, in the moment, you line up, you just do it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Nothing is more important. Yeah. It'll be only the monkey mind telling you other. Mm. That just brings in the fatigue, like, oh, I'm just so sleepy for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Awareness is crisp, solid, and it's, um, it's not sleepy. No, and as soon as I want to touch on it, it goes like, oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and sleep has been a pattern of avoidance, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we all can have a bit of a go at that one, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, and we're all the same in all these little aspects, you know, mm -hmm. some we might do it only a small percentage, you know, some really, really strong. To take the time and to sit in your own sanctuary, wherever that is, in a park or wherever, and just take the time to have a look. Where's my patterning? Mm -hmm. What keeps me out of being in that ocean? Honouring it because whatever it was, even though it could be good, bad, ugly, magnificent or beyond, it has been essence that's brought you home, yeah? So spot check that you, you know, even in the unspoken, that you're still not giving yourself a bit of a, a judgment. Mm -hmm. What is, is love. Mm -hmm. 